Hi, this is Abstract Jazz with URM. You're tuned into another episode of Under the Radar. We're here today with Dr. Dunny. You are ready, Dr. Dunny. Uh. Dr. Dunny. Uh. Real Dunny. Uh. <laughs> I need more girls in my section. <laughs> Dr. Dunny, who are you as an artist? I mean, as an artist, I'm that guy that could bring like multiple, like, you know, like multiple things. Like, I could do the party shit, you know what I'm saying? I could do like everything, like to some conscious, everything, you know what I'm saying? So, me as an artist, like, trying to like motivate people. I'm just trying to motivate people to be all they could be and always be yourself. Like, you don't have to be what everybody else is. You don't have to sell drugs if you don't sell drugs. You could party all night if you want to. If you are about that life, I'm not taking it away, but if you're about that, then yeah, but man, I'm just that artist that inspire people, you know what I'm saying? And where did you get your name from? Um, that's like a, that's like a, that's like a question that everybody asks me, man, that's like, okay, I'm gonna start, it's a long story, but I'm gonna make it short. So, my uh, big brother, Pete Dunny, he started like all this, and like he started with like the name of Young Dunny Records, so I mean, basically it was just like, my first name was actually famous of Young Dunny Records. And it had to say it all together, like a Tribe Called Quest, like famous to Young Dunny Records, you know what I'm saying? So it started, it was like, basically it was like, um, I started doing vlogs about like relationships and stuff. This funny is like being young and you know, just having, joking around. So basically people would start taking into it and people started attaching me to that name more. They started attaching me to Dr. Dunny instead of Famous or Young Dunny. So basically I just like, hey, my name Dr. Dunny and I do this, I do multiple things. So I, and I took rapping serious. I don't know if you're gonna believe me for, I've been rapping since I was seven and I, took it serious for like one year me and my manager DJ record like since 2013 I'm on MTV Vivo a lot of places so I mean we, we going far we going far for real yeah and when did you start you said um well when did you decide that you wanted to rap like when did you start getting into the studio and all of that um it was always like my brothers like I got six brothers so it was like they, they always been older than me and they was rapping, so I was just like, I caught on to it, I put a little rhyme together. So I was just like putting a rhyme together. It was like, it was like some phony rhyme, but it was hot back then, you feel me? So I thought I was, the, yeah, the man. But after a while, like I started performing at little talent shows at school, you know, the little assemblies they be having at school and stuff and all that. What do you love most about the culture? I love, like, it's so, like, universal, like, like no matter what, like race, what you look like, where you come from, everybody has some type of connection. Even if you like one song from hip hop, it sticks. Like it's like the like the what you call it, the model for like the whole world. Like, and I like how it stick to people, the way people dress, the way people walk. Like even the way like I got gold in my mouth would come from Wu Tang Clan. You know what I'm saying? It was like everything. If like inflicts everybody opinion choices which is hip-hop and that's one common thing the whole world got I think like for real and what are some of your influences my like influences <laughs> ah man influence okay let me let me be PG right here while my uh influence major is like the kids you know what I'm saying they so like like full of like innocence and they want to they look at us like rap is okay, he is cool, this is what he wears, this is what he does. And they start like listening and doing what we preach. So we preach negativity, they will get negativity. But if we preach okay positivity or just have a good time or be yourself, everybody gonna start thinking about that, like thinking on their own, have their own opinions, have their own view on everything, you know what I'm saying? And what are some of your goals? My goal, actually, okay, I wanna meet Kanye West, right? <laughs> I think I probably want to sign like the Rock Nation or something like that, but I mean, right now I'm independent. And basically, I just want to just make music that's universal. Like, I'm not trying to just be in one bracket. I'm trying to 
everything. I'm trying to take over the radio. I'm trying to take over the internet, take over everything possible. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get it. Believe me, I'm going to get it. Watch. You know? Yeah, what has been some of your standout moments so far? My standout moments? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was like, okay, the first one was when, like, I dropped the song, Make That Thing Clap. Like I was, I was joking around with it. It was just like record made the beat. It had the girl like, uh, uh, and then we were just like, wait, man, pick that sample right there. We was joking around with it, so I was like, make that thing clap, make that, make that thing clap, and it kind of like, like built up to be like the song. So I put the hot verses on there, and it was like, as soon as I dropped it, everybody loved it. Like everybody loved it. Everybody was sharing it on Facebook, Twitter, tweeting this, and Dr. Dunner, you the man. Mm -hmm. And everything. And another moment was when I performed along with like CMG, mm -hmm. you know, like with Gotti and Snooty Wild and stuff like that. It, it, it was cool, man. Like, like it, it motivated me to be like, okay, these people are real people. People in the industry are real people. So let me get out of fan mood. I'm still a fan mood. I still, like, oh my goodness, this is them. But inside, you know, I'm humble. So I'm like, oh yeah, man. Yeah, I'm Dr. Dunny. Nice to meet you. You know? So I mean, it's a lot of things. It's like a whole list that stand out to me. Every time somebody tweet me, every time somebody say, like, good job, that's, it stands out to me, you know? Yeah. So where can some people find your music now? You go um, pretty much find it on anything, like anything. You Google Dr. Dunny, you SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, Spinrilla, live mixtapes. I just dropped that relapse live mixtape. Make sure y'all get that. I'm telling you, um... A lot of stuff, MTV, artists, MTV.com. It's a lot of places, man. Like, like I'm, I'm working towards like being global, you know. And it's going, it's going. I'm gonna have that one breakout record, y'all going, yeah. And can you tell us about your next project? Okay, my next project. Um, I was really pushing like the single, make that thing clap, mm -hmm. and I was going to really do a remix. You know, it'd be hot, like have like mad mm -hmm. artists on a remix. Mm -hmm. And like, cause it already has been on 92Q, you know what I'm saying? But I think a remix would be like perfect. And the video and make sure I submit it to like all the music video channel, Revolt, BT, everything. I mean, I think it's gonna be a big, big move for Baltimore, for real, man. Let's go. We need a generation of positive, chill people. I was a little girl that thought you can't do anything. I know that this can be something more than just a rap beat. I just want to be able to be a voice that does stand up. This is an underground block. You got to aspire to be better. I want their stories to inspire other people around the world. 